Hey guys, welcome back to another video today here on my channel. Today we are going to start off a new series on my channel, and this is my Fallout 5 wishlist series. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't it a bit early to start speculating and making videos on Fallout 5? Well personally, no I don't. I sort of want to be making Fallout 5 content before anyone else if that makes sense. And I uh, want to be quite known for making Fallout videos, and I think this is the way to do so. So basically today I'm going to start off the series by making a sort of wish list I guess you could say for something I want to see in the next installment of the Fallout franchise. Now that one thing is is what I'm going to speak about in this video and uh, basically what it is is I want to see you be able to make your own character like we saw in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 and even in Fallout 1 and 2 and the older games if you know what I mean because in Fallout 4 you're really restricted and you have to be the good guy and I know not a lot of people want to be the good guy and it is really really fun to be a evil character and that's kind of what I'm on about here I want the ability to be able to choose your own decisions in the next Fallout game as in Fallout 4 you can't make your own decisions and the problem is with Fallout 4 is you can't even kill a lot of NPCs like in Fallout 4 without mods you can't kill some NPCs because they're needed throughout the story but I want the option to be able to kill whoever I want in a story if you understand and uh, in Fallout 4 you can't in the older Fallout games I believe you can pretty much kill every NPC you can think of so you know, I just want that sort of option to let you be who you want to be in the Fallout series and choose your character. Now along with this, I'm going to mention the uh, voiceover characters and I don't really want to see that. I really don't want your character to be voiceovered because it really does take away from the experience and in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, your character isn't voiced and you just have these options. Uh, you have to pick and it sort of allows you to be the sort of character you want and it makes you imagine in your mind what your character would sound like and their backstory. Fallout 4, you really haven't got the decision because your character is voiced and along with that the dialogue options are very short and you're very limited to what you can say and what you can do in Fallout 4 and in the older Fallout games that really wasn't present you could really do whatever you wanted to do and I think in the next Fallout game, let's just say Fallout 5, for now I think that needs to come back if you understand. I believe we need to get that option to be evil back in the Fallout series because in Fallout 4 you really can't do much evil things. If you understand what I mean, yeah you can side with evil people, you can side with the Brotherhood of Steel which are quite evil guys in Fallout 4 along with the Institute, they're quite evil as well. but you're really limited still and you can't really do something that is really evil like in Fallout 3 you can blow up a town called Megaton and that is really really evil and really really dark and messed up and I want that sort of option in the next Fallout game so I wish this would be an option in the next Fallout game I want the option to be able to kill whoever I want I want the option to do really messed up stuff and because uh, it's really really fun if you've played Fallout 3 and you've blown up Megaton and you've done the work for the slavers and captured people from the slave camps, you'd know how fun it is. It's actually really fun. It's really dark, but it just gives the game this replay value. And in Fallout 4, that's really not there. In the older Fallout games, it's there though. Like in Fallout New Vegas, it's there as well, and in Fallout 3. But in Fallout 4, it's just not there. And for the next Fallout game, I want the first to sort of go back a step and bring that option back if you understand what I mean here because in Fallout 4 you really can't do that and I wish in Fallout 4 you could do that but you couldn't so with the next Fallout game I really do believe that they need to bring these evil options back and whoever's developing it I really really do hope they do so because just Fallout 4 that's one of the main reasons people don't really like it that much is because of the voice of the character because you can't choose your own path because you can't be evil, I think that's the main reason people really don't like Fallout 4 as much as Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. 
So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video today. Let me know what you think of the sort of wishlist series. Do you like the idea? Do you not like the idea? Just give me ideas on what I can do with my channel because at the moment I'm sort of struggling and I don't know what to upload. So, I need your guys' support. So, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Make sure you leave a like in this video if you did enjoy and subscribe for more content if you are new around here. Anyway, Vault Dwellers, I'll see you in my next video. See ya.